Daryl, back to pre-season training yesterday and today. First of all, how nice is it to be back? And secondly, what's on the agenda for the first couple of days? Uh, great to be back. Um, although it seems like a quick turnaround from when the season finished to get back in now, but we're, we're delighted to be back in. Um, the first two days will be all about testing, really, for the players. Their physical condition, body fat, weight, speed testing, different speed tests we've got to do. Uh, speed endurance, yo-yo tests, and then getting them familiar with uh, a football again. It's just over a week now until our first pre-season game next Saturday as we travel to Braintree. How does next week look in the build-up to that? Uh, more football. I think, as I said, the first two days are testing to see where the players are at and then in terms of where their fitness levels are at and where, where we can really kick on from, from Monday. Um, pleased to say everybody's come back in, in, in decent condition, uh, which we expect them to do, but it's always good when it happens. And Monday we look to kick on now uh, and get ourselves ready for the first uh, pre-season game. Yeah, good stuff. And Sam Ling signs a deal with the club this morning. How pleased are you to welcome him to the group? And what do you think his qualities as a player are? Um, delighted that he's signing. Absolutely over the moon. Um, his qualities as a person first. I think he's, he's a good person. He's honest. He's hardworking. Um, obviously, he comes from a football family with his dad, Martin. Um, I've known Sam since he's probably about five or six when I played for Martin at Leighton Orient. Um, he comes with good pedigree. He's been at the football club before, obviously, and done really well here. Um, he can play six or seven positions. He's very versatile. I think it's something really important that you look at our squad now, and it, it won't be a huge squad that we've got this season, that we've got to have people that can play in different positions. Um, I think Sam does that. At the age of 23 as well, I think he's at a fantastic age as well to come back. He was hungry to come back here. There was, there was plenty of clubs in from, but he, he chose us because he believes in, in the age of the group and what we're trying to achieve here. Well, that's great to have him back. Yeah, for sure. And we touched on it. We touched on it before, but now that you're maybe back in for pre-season, how important do you see it to get most of our business out of the way prior to and right at the beginning of pre-season? And why do you think that can be beneficial? Um, I think ideally everybody wants to do that, but it's not the real world we live in now. To be honest, I think um, we've probably done a lot of our business for this season in January and February time. We, we had one eye on that then with brass and plaza. Um, so we wouldn't have to do a lot this summer. Um, the group's coming together nicely now. We're not in a rush to get any more in. Um, like always in pre-season, as long as everyone gets through it fit and, and ready to go, we're, we'll be ready to rock and roll. But normally, somebody comes out of the woodwork late in pre-season and start the season, which always happens every year for every club. Um, and I'm sure we'll be willing to do something if, if, if we need to. We have got a settled group at the moment. And... Um, Keeping them together, keeping them working together daily is important to get to know each other and kicking on. Yeah, definitely. And the National League fixtures were released earlier this week. Do you have any early thoughts on facing a team like Stockport away on the first day or are you just sort of looking forward to the 21st of August now? Looking forward to training today, Lou, to be honest. I'm not looking that far ahead yet. Not it's a too long far way ahead. Between, it's a long way between now and then, mate. A long, long way. And I think we've just got to focus on making sure that we're getting through our testing today and then think about Monday when we're going to start showing everybody how we're going to play and as I said it's a long long way to go for the first game of the season we're looking forward to it it's the target and um, we're probably playing the, the team that everybody expects to win the division um, or probably them in Wrexham um, but we're, we're looking forward to the game but um, there's lots to do in between now and then for sure and then just absolutely finally I'm obviously not, not sure if those flags behind you show maybe your support for England on Sunday no, I wish England all the best. Um, as an Irishman, I wish England all the best. I think um, all my in-laws will be supporting the team and I'll be there with them. Maybe I might have an Ireland shot on, you never know. But um, no, listen, I think England have been amazing. I think uh, what Gareth Southgate in the past has done is terrific. Uh, after the last 18 months, what's gone on in the world, I think the football teams give everybody a lift. The togetherness of that team and the quality of the England team is outstanding. And it's a great day of sport on Sunday with the F1 and the Wimbledon as well. So... I'm sure everyone will have a great day on Sunday and hopefully England win Sunday night.